The school that stands behind me has some tragic stories and many mysteries. Inside this building has multiple spirits still stuck inside from the day it had closed, which was 70 years ago. Tonight we are going to find out the truth behind all of these mysteries. Boy, this is awesome. Hi, this is so dope. The town of Tonopah was in full scale silver production in the early 1900s. present day Goldfield was yet to be discovered. That is until 1902 when two prospectors who went by the name of Harry Stimler and William Marsh had made a claim near Goldfield, which turned out to be very profitable beyond their wildest dreams. Goldfield had then become a town in 1903 and was called the world's greatest gold camp. Between 1903 and 1940, Goldfield's mines had produced a little over $83 million, and that was back then. To this day, it would be just about a billion. About a year after the gold had been discovered in Goldfield, the town's population had increased a little bit over 20,000 people, making this one of the biggest towns at the time in Nevada. Since the town had become so popular, there was a demand for schools. With that being said, in 1906 and 1908, four schools had been built in Goldfield. The largest of those schools on August 4th, 1907, under full Masonic ritual, the cornerstone of the Goldfield High School was laid, and they had used a trowel that was made from full Comstock silver to lay the mortar. The property featured 12 classrooms, one auditorium, two offices, two bathrooms, four storage closets, and an extra large attic. Seating capacity was about 450 students. In the first year that they had opened up, it was a whopping 125 students who had enrolled. By 1918, all the other schools had unfortunately shut down and all the grades had relocated to this historic high school. On July 7th, 1923, most of the town had been destroyed by a fire. The only two structures that had remained after the fire was the Goldfield High School and the Goldfield Hotel. The nine hour fire had caused nearly $1 million in damages, killed one person and left nearly 500 others homeless. In 1953, the school had been completely abandoned due to increasingly weak foundation. Schools are often safe places for anyone that goes inside. They're warm, they have running water, and even other people around that you can make friends with or just not feel alone. However, certain schools have some very dark mysteries. Some of the stories that we were able to pick up on involve teachers disciplining the students there. These stories can range from kids being sent to the back of the class or being hit with rulers, even sometimes being locked in closets. One particularly awful instance of this was of a child who was running from the teacher and he went down to the basement and hid inside the coal room. Upon entering, the coal had collapsed on him and he was buried alive. Goldfield was no stranger to violence and this school was no exception. There's a story of two students who were fighting at the top of the stairs on the third floor. One of these kids pushed the other through a glass door, which shattered completely, injuring this kid pretty badly. One that stood out the most to us out of all these stories is a tragic one. There was a child who had been disciplined by the principal himself, who was also the only male staff member. He had locked this child in the closet in his office for the entire school day, which is particularly small itself. The story goes that the child's father had come to the school demanding answers for what was going on with his son, only to get in some type of altercation with the principal. This fight sadly ended with the father dying, which was a shock to everybody because no one really knows how he died.
To this day, most people claim that the Goldfield High School is fairly haunted. Those who have gone inside don't often stay for long. Even the groundskeeper, as soon as it gets dark, leaves the building immediately. There's actually a pretty funny story about this. When a kid from the town was challenged by the groundskeeper to spend one night in the school completely alone, the kid took this challenge on and set up his sleeping bag right at the top of the stairs. As he was about to go to sleep for the night, he started hearing what sounded like a party going on. Since there's a bar that's pretty close to this school, he assumed there was a party going on there. So he had walked into the auditorium to look out the window and he had noticed that the bar was completely closed for the night. It was then that he started hearing these voices more clearly and they were talking about him. These voices were saying words like, he's a coward, he's not gonna be able to stay, I hate that guy, I should go hit him things like that. When the groundskeeper returned in the morning, he had discovered that the kid had completely gone and even left all of his belongings as well. He actually had to find him in town to find out what had happened. I think it really freaked him out when he came over here and saw there's no party. Yeah. Because he heard a party going on and you know, the bar's pretty close and you can see a party from here and a lot of times there are, but it wasn't then. Some of the most common activity that is seen and heard at this school is the typical bangs on the wall, disembodied voices, but sometimes these voices are actually quite clear and you can understand what they're saying. Like sounds of children playing, a womanly voice calling out to you. Some people have even left toys that have been moved or altered after someone comes back. Our goal tonight is to get in contact with whoever is remaining at the school and try to find out if all of these stories that we heard are true. So let's go. So this is for signing our lives away here. Yep, one, three. Wow. Our lives a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah. Okay, Ghost Gang, I just want to let you guys know before we do start right now, we are running three cameras off of a generator that is actually dying pretty fast and that's really weird because it's brand new and originally it said we had three hours here now we only have about two hours so we got to kick into gear and try and capture as much evidence as we can and hope for the best if the cameras do shut out i don't know what to say about that you know there's no power here there's nothing so when our devices do go off or anything then there's there's no power whatsoever. There's no reason for them to go off. Also, while we were getting B-roll, we were hearing some insane shit. Literally, somebody had answered to us three times. First, it sounded like a man's voice, and then it started morphing into a, a younger child's voice. So without further ado, I'm going to get right into this investigation, and let's go. Okay, I'd like to introduce all four of us here. I know you already saw us walking all around the school. My name is Ryan. My name is Nick. My name is Wyatt. And my name is River. Now you're seeing us here because we are trying to come in contact with anybody who'd like to speak with us. If you can please give us a little bit of your time to have a conversation with you and maybe get some information from you, that would be amazing. We have these objects that you can use I'm sure you've seen them before because there's been plenty of people who've come here with these kinds of objects to speak with you. So if you could please just come and speak with us and we can have a nice conversation and just hopefully keep you some company here for a little bit. There's this object here that I had already turned on and set up right here at the stair set. This one all you have to do is walk up to this metal rod that you see here. It'll light up like that and it'll make noise. There's also a ball that we had set up at the top of the stair set. If you could please knock that down or come up to me in this object here in my hand. You can use your words and actually have sentences. You can have a conversation with us is what I'm trying to tell you. So please, we're going to stand right here for a little bit. Hopefully you can give us some noises to show us that you are here. And we'll just see how this plays out tonight. Was that you, Nick? No. We'll just see how this plays out tonight. What? Was that you, Nick? No. Five or six times. 
You swear the you creaking? didn't do that? I didn't move no, at all. No, it was tapping on something. It was like... No, but I, did, I haven't moved. I thought it was you when you took a step, actually. No. no, I'll do this my step again. Look. Okay, watch. Yeah, that was loud. That sounded further up. No, it was, it was like... Is that the little girl? Hello? I just heard another one tap. Can you hear us? I hear footsteps. Yeah, yeah. That voice that we heard earlier, are you still around here? Can you say something again? I'm hearing those footsteps again. That general area. Should we move over that way? Yeah. Okay. You're up here. I hope you can hear us. I'm trying to talk loud enough so that anybody here in the school still can hear my voice. I'd like to give you this opportunity before we continue any further. If any of you are interested in getting out of here and going to the light and being set free out of here, please communicate with us so we know that that's what you want. Yeah, what is that? What is that? You hear? Since we're going to be walking around a lot, I have this little device in my hands. As soon as you get close to it, it's going to light up different colors. Oh! That's on that other staircase, dude. Yeah, the second staircase. That's oh, on your no. way to the boys' bathroom. Wait, were you pointing it that like way? Knocks. That sounded yeah. like a bunch of taps well, and scraping. I was watching the ball, but. Hello? <laughs> Ooh, EMF. There it is. Thank you. Ooh. Are you right next to us? What was that noise? Do we interest you? We're gonna walk over here now. Again. EMF. You can follow that close to me, that's okay. Stair set leads to the boys' bathroom. It just. You must like the colors, don't you? What the f? Q? You can keep playing with those, that's okay. I don't mind so long as. Oh, I just heard that, that, that moan voice. A light voice. I didn't. Say that again, please. Were you just stepping? No. No, I just stepped just now. The owner to this place, Steve, was talking about this doll right here. I have this object. If you can maybe show us or tell us that there's something going on here with this doll, I'm gonna set this right here, right in front of the doll. Now, if you have anything you wanna do, can you please show us? Please give us a sign. If there's anybody attached to this doll, it's a beautiful doll. I'm gonna leave this right here. Now, if you can show us that you're here or have any ties to this doll and the reason why it's here, because a lot of people say that there's something going on here. So I'm gonna leave it alone. I also have this other object. This one will show us if you come on either one of these sides. I'm gonna turn it on here and I'm gonna explain it. All you have to do is come over to this side. This is red. Usually we use this 
for a question, if we were to ask you a question, we usually use the red side as a no for you to show us whatever question we ask is a no, or you go to the other side, it's green for a yes. Or you could just show us by waving your hand, walking near it. All you have to do is show us that you are here and just give us a sign. That was loud. Yeah, what was that? Was that upstairs? I have no idea. I can't tell. I'm hearing things like everywhere. Do that again, please. Make that noise. That was a knock. It's like a clap. Oh, you're right. That did sound like a I, clap. Yeah. Sounds bad. That's eerie. Sounds far again. I think it's up even more. I just heard a knock. No. Oh! Hi! Oh! Hello! Are you standing right there? Can you make another noise to let us know you're here? Yes! Thank you. Keep walking up to that, please. Maybe you can go to the other side and show us that you're here by touching the green side. Oh, I just heard f running. And that was a child's... Guys, why are you getting that? Yep. I just yeah. saw that one go off by the doll. The EMF? Yes. Yeah. Hi. Just want to let you know, we get really excited, and we will get really excited, if you show us that you're here. It makes us happy. We've helped a couple of people pass on. A couple of spirits, whatever you see yourself as. We've helped all kinds cross over to the light. So if you could please give us a sign that you want that. If not, that's totally okay. I don't want to push it on you. If you like being here, that's, that's perfectly fine. At least it would be nice to have a conversation with you and find out if you are here or not. Oh my oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you. Can you make a knock to that let us know where you are? That was literally right through here. Shh. Make another noise, we'll go to you. Do you hear that, Wyatt? Yeah. Does that sound like up there? That sounds like behind you. Behind me? I think so. Not to it me. It like up there. It could be up. Thank you. I'm hearing it again. Me too. I can feel it. I had asked you to go around and touch the green, and you did. This might be a little too much to ask for. I don't know. But if it's possible, I'm going to go and grab this red ball. I'm gonna try and set it up on this stair set. If, if you can, please use your energy and push it down for us. I'm also grab this REM pod back and move it. Okay, I'm gonna give this a shot. I, I really hope you can help us out here. So I have this object, just like I explained. I'm gonna set it right here. If you want, you can show us that you're here. You can just pass by it, hold on to the metal rod. And then this ball, this one is key here. I just saw an arm move right there, guys. No, you didn't. I did, I did. I saw an arm right around the corner and I just watched it move. You know what I'm, so think about this around the corner and you wrap your arm like this yeah. and then you just move it away. Uh -huh. I saw that. I'm gonna try this here. Green. Did that just turn green? Yeah. Sure did. Red. And red. Are you right down there? Make it go off again. Can you pass right next to it again, please? Further back. It's really hard to get a ball to stay. I just heard that loud, huh? Holy I can't see anything. 
Was that down there? I think so. What the f What's up, what? I set that ball right there. Someone with a flashlight, can you? Huh? I need a flashlight. That doorway? Oh, dude, in that doorway, I swear to God, I just saw eye shine. I w I've been looking at that the whole time you have. Come here. Right here. This angle, right here. I swear to God, that was like eyeballs. Where? That, that doorway door. right there? This one here? Yeah. That's where we heard the sound earlier too. And then you flash back and nothing? I don't yeah. see it anymore. Please give us a sign. Continue to speak with us. Continue to show us that you are here. If you can knock that ball down the stairs, that would be amazing. That's what we're looking for here. Trying to see if you have that energy, you have that power to do so. No. You don't want to? Twice? I hit it twice. Please give it a try. Use the energy that we have right here. They're just standing right there. Hi. Make you a deal. I'll give you ten bucks if you kick that ball down the stairs. Ten whole dollars. Just kick it down. <laughs> Alright, I want to let you know something. We're not teachers. And you're not in trouble. We're simply guests to your school. And we just wanted to say hello and play a game with you. Is there any way you could do that for us and we could earn your trust? Does that mean no? Are you answering no? Or are you standing there? Huh. What the Whoa. F that, was so that was so close. Is that upstairs? I don't know. Where are all the ghosts? We know you guys are here. You not want us to go upstairs or something? I don't know if they're trying to say no or they're just standing here watching us. Exactly, yeah. Hey, you can test that. Spin it around. Make the green where the red is. We just flipped it over. You're standing right here. That was the green that was side. That was, that the, was green. the green side. It makes a higher pitched one. It makes a higher yeah. pitched noise. Mm -hmm. We'll find out here in a sec. Once it goes back to normal, we'll find out here in a sec. I, I'm pretty sure somebody is standing here watching us. Oh, yep, there was only green. We see you right here. What's wrong? We want we want to help you if you if you need help. Oh <gasps> no way! They are right here. They're standing right here, guys. Please. Use my energy and then go upstairs and please knock down that ball. How can we get you to do it? Is there any possible way? Are you scared? No, no. you're not scared. Then what are you doing? Maybe we need the device, right? Maybe it's not one of the kids. Okay, this object right here is going to allow you to use your words. So maybe while you're standing here, maybe you could go ahead and try and use your words. Okay, I'm going to set it right here. You use your energy. You can use your words. You can... Something look at you right there. Yeah, Something yeah, yeah. look at you there. What did you say? You're both scary? <coughs> so, you are. You are. You are. Who? Us? What? I just saw flashing right there. I swear to God I saw that earlier. Green? Yes. I understand that we look different. We're not here to scare you. We're here to talk to you. We're here to make friends. If we can. The year is 2000. Holy f 
Where did that just come I from? I don't know. It just went off. EMF in my hand? There's nothing on me. Are you standing right next to me? We were trying to get you to push down the ball earlier and you got a little closer. Is there any way you could do it? It'll be like a game. We'll be really happy if you do it. I'm still hearing those t tapping or knock, uh, mm. whatever it is. Footsteps tapping or knocking, I don't know what it is. It's like they're like running different places here and there. That stopped going off the pyramid. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. You have pink hair. Did I just hear that right? Do you think my hair is pink? Do you like that color? Okay. There's a difference. I can see the difference. Sometimes when spirits are like, oh, I'm a little kid, you know, but they don't act anything like a little kid. These are definitely little kids, I feel. Yeah. I feel like they're too scared to kick a ball down the stairs because maybe if they would have done that when school was still around, they would have gotten in trouble. You're not going to get in trouble with us. We will get excited. Yes. Thank you. Why? They're right in front of you. Hello. Why are you still in school? Do you remember? Did you just like it here? I'm gonna go ahead and kind of up, up, here. something in here. Are you one of the kids then, or are you grown up now? Was it me? I was right behind you in that in that room. No. Can you give us your name? We introduced ourselves. It'd be nice to call you by the, by your name. Please. Walk up to this object here. This one right here. It's scary here. It's scary here. <laughs> no. If that's not what you just said, can you please repeat? Right into this. Sorry, it's hard to hear you guys. Multiple names and then the word here. I didn't hear a name. I'm gonna try this other method here. You might be a little bit more interested in this than the ball, I don't know. It's worth a shot though. I'm gonna stick this flashlight at the top of the stairs. Leave it there. Yeah, huh? I think you're right. Leave what here? You talking about the ball? Or were you just talking about the light? Please tell me you guys heard that. That was somebody upstairs. Really? Yes. We got a yes down here. Got a yes down there? Two more greens. I'm gonna set this flashlight here. Right here. Whoa. Huh? My whole camera just flickered like the night owl did at basement. You think you caught that? It might have. Is that you messing with my camera? Okay, I'm leaving that flashlight right there. If you can turn that flashlight on for us. Hey, okay, sure. That flashlight right there, right at the top. It's going, it's going. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Ooh, that's really bright. Look at the pyramid. Dude, instant. I'm blurry. I didn't even catch that. Thank you so much. Thank you. You just flickered it. Maybe you can turn it off now. Oh, Raven, are you getting that? I'm trying, dude. I got nothing but blur. I got it. That's probably because there's a lot of energy right there. I'm trying to move down without messing anything up here. You're doing a great job. Please turn it off. Use your energy. Maybe push that ball too if you can. Yeah, come on. Hey, you got it. Thank you. Are you getting that? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Try to turn it off, all the way, please. 
They messed with it quite a bit. Yeah. That was great. Is that you? No. That was not you? That wasn't me. I think that was in that room. Right there. Would you like us to go upstairs? Make this color go green. We'll come up for a little bit. No harm. None of these teachers are going to get you anymore. We just want to hang out. Oh my gosh, there it is. Whoa. They're standing right at it. Thank you. What was that a yes to? What did you just ask? If they wanted us to go upstairs. Thank you. We are very, very grateful. Very grateful. Oh, they really want us to go upstairs. This is so cool. This is so cool. Can I can I show you guys something real quick? So it'd be it'd be going off. It'd be going off. There. That's my reach is here. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple of these objects here, and then we're gonna make our way upstairs. It's just me and my twin brother up here right now. We were told that somebody is up here. Instant anxiety. Yeah. Very, very f***ing quick. It's really cold up here. I'm gonna set this object here. If you can maybe show us that you're there, hold on to that antenna. You haven't showed us with that object that you're here yet. Maybe you can. Give us that sign. Who's over there? You kids running down, running around down here? There are two floors up. We wouldn't be here. Yeah, we can't. I'm gonna place this flashlight right here once again. We're gonna stand over there, and if you can, walk over here and do what you did with that flashlight. Do it again, please. If it's not the person that had already set the flashlight off, maybe you can do it too. Or maybe somebody can show us that they're here with the ball, if you knock down the ball. You just gotta show us that you're here. So far, whoever is here communicating with us and feeling a little bit more comfortable with us, that's awesome. That's what we're looking for. Guys? Yeah. Is that you? No. That... What? Did you just knock four times? No. Yo. You've got... Why? Oh. Right. Yes, I heard that. And, and it's on no. Over. Okay, that's wonderful. We went down to turn off the night of it. Like as I'm turning it off, right down there by the boys' bathroom, we straight just here. And then as we're coming up the stairs, something like, it sounded like something with our table, our nerve center. Really? It like shook and slid. Yeah. And we stood right there at the, at the top of the, the first flight of stairs and straight up, it was right down there, it was. Four, right when we get to the top of the stairs. Yeah, it was straight up four. Yeah. I'm like winded, that was scary. And you guys didn't make any noises at all. Like we didn't even hear you react, so we knew it wasn't you. Okay, I set this flashlight up again for you. We're gonna walk over here and you light it up for us, please. You give us a sign, you show us that you're here. Somebody's already right there. Somebody's already right there. Please turn that on. We walked away. Make that nice and bright. Use the energy in that flashlight, whatever you need to do. You're here, we know you're here. Now just show us. Manifest it all. 
Thank you. You might be trying to figure it out. Just put your hands on it. Where's that little girl? What is that? Is that a scream? Where's that little girl? What is that? Is that a scream? What was that? That was like a scream. Are you okay? Are you locked in the teacher's closet? Where's the teacher's closet? Right over there. That right there. Mm -hmm. You want us to go over there? Ooh. That was behind us. Ooh. That was behind us. No, that was, no, definitely, that was over definitely that down way. that way. Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell. Thank you. The light just did you get that, Wyatt? Come on. Show us that you're over there. Do you need help? You're trying to speak to us. Try again. We're listening. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. You can talk to us. We're sorry, we just get really excited. Whoa. Oh, hey. And a flicker. What was that? That was right behind me. That was random. The light went so bright as soon as that happened. Is that, is that you? We heard you giggling There's earlier. In here, I think. What did that sound like? Something like that. Laugh like you did earlier. Oh! oh Finally! My God, that scared me. Yeah, that scared Finally. me. Finally! out of me. Finally! This has not had not gone off all night so far. Hi. Did you bring the other red pod? Yes, I did. Uh, let's go ahead and set it over there. Hey, that just went off again, the light. Okay, I'm gonna go and drop this off over here. Right where the light is. Oh, dude, it went all the way off. Did it? It's going all the way off. I set this right here for you. So if you can, we'll walk away again. We're trying to find out if you'd like us to go in that closet. We're trying to find out what happened to that boy. Hey, it just turned Did on. Did it just turn on? Yeah. Oh, all the way. That's got it. Maybe that caught it. Yeah, that had to have. We all had our backs turned. It had to have. We're trying to find out. <laughs> Thank you. I have a question. Where that boy was locked in that closet. Did you come here to school when that had happened? Did you come here to school when that had happened? Please hold on to that object right there, the one that you just discovered. That one buzzes, lights up, you can answer it. If you make it go off right now, that'll answer that you were indeed here when that whole thing happened. Okay. Thank you. Now, would you like us to go over there? Is that boy still here? Because we heard there's some weird feeling when you get into that closet. Is there something weird about that closet? Do you feel it too? Nice. Yeah. They're right here then. Really right? What happened to that boy's father? The one that was locked in the closet. Do you remember? Did you not just hear that running? I did. Is he here? He was found here when he died. Yeah, I swear that's what it said. He was found here when he died. Yeah. What happened to the boy's father? That kind of sounded like principal. I feel like they're trying to tell us the whole story. I, I, yeah, it, it sounds like a story. Like, it's really long. Look at me. Come here. Show us that you're here. 
Guys, my legs are freezing, bro. I know. What is going on? My it arms. Got, it got hella cold right here. It was when we got closer. We're getting close to someone and they're trying to hide from us. I'm making my way to that room. I'm trying to gang the b****s to go in there. How about this? One of us, just one, sits in that closet right now. And the other three stay here. Would that be okay? Maybe then you'll be a comfortable with one person. I need somebody's camera. You guys want to take this? I'll go in there and have a little bit of silence with the EMF meter, I guess. Take the flashlight. Or take mine. Okay, I'm going in here. I'm going to shut myself in here. Is that okay? To the father of that son, or if the son is here, I'm here with you right now. This is me and you. I'm going to set this flashlight here. It's just me and you. You give me a sign, make that flashlight go off. You don't have to. Okay, hang out with me. Go back out again. That, the, the pyramid just went off? Yeah. I just heard the pyramid. Yeah. yeah. Is that you down there? Please make that go off, that light. My name is Ryan. You heard me wrong. I just want to tell you I am friendly. And I'm only in here because you what you experienced was wrong. And if this is the principal that did that, what you did was wrong. You shouldn't have done that. We're walking or over Or you here. should have not gone through that. Please show me that you're here through that flashlight. Where are you? Touch it, use your energy. Oh! Oh! So you're in here. Hi. Is this the boy? Guys! I'm with the boy! This is awesome. Hi. This is so dope. Who's in there with Ryan? Is that really the boy? Can you turn it off? Turn it off, please. Who's in there with him? What the f is that? That was downstairs. That you guys hear that? Yeah. That was that loud. That was downstairs. And then the freaking, then the pyramid went off. That was a, that's our battery. Our battery's about to die. Our battery just died. The oh, battery let's go, died? Let's go get yeah. it, Nick. Guys, the battery died. Like I said, it's what's going to happen? We got to go down there now. Yeah. You guys are going down? You guys go down, go check it. I'm going to stay up here with Ryan. I just got some really good shit here. Our freaking battery, man, it just got sucked out like crazy. Yeah. No, I know. If anybody can hear me in here, or on the outside, I just want to say you did a great job. You gave us all the evidence we need. You told us that you're here. I'm going to take this flashlight out of here. I'm going to go ahead and make my way downstairs. My brother needs a flashlight to see anyways, okay? Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, sure. Cool. Can I get out of here? Can you help me? Thank you. It's hard, it's... Oh, something just touched my back. Something Believe me. Tapped on my back. One more time. One more time. One more time, one more time, one more time. I... I what? I'm lonely. I'm lonely. That did sound... I'm sorry, I thought you had... You didn't even hand it to me, man. <laughs> Was that laughing? I think so. That was, you were just laughing, huh? We just dropped the battery pack that lights up the infrared light. And uh, Bitch. out came, ha, 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 ha. Literally. <laughs> that was exactly pretty right. funny, huh? Literally. My brother is an idiot, I know. That was not my fault. <laughs> you literally tried, you freaking just dropped it before I can even grab it. I know you saw me hand it to him. I felt his hand grab onto that battery pack and he just let go like an idiot. They both are. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> no way. I'm just kidding. I love my brother. We're gonna make our way back downstairs. I don't know.
What? What's that? That sounded like somebody was in pain. We're gonna make our way back downstairs. I don't know. What's what? that? That sounded like somebody was in pain. Shh. Hang on, look around us real quick. There ain't nothing that could have made that noise. What the f was that? I have no idea. Something answered me a couple of times through the flashlight. Sometimes we have really good luck with the flashlight. It just depends. And this is what I love about our investigations. It's because we have some really good interactions. It all depends on what devices we use, really. Mm -hmm. It depends on what they want to use. Now, unfortunately, so far we haven't gotten them to kick down the ball, but that is not the end of the world because we got some great ass evidence. Whoa. Do we want to go in the sunroom really quick? Yeah. We're going to step in here for a little bit. And then we're going to end our investigation here. We're just trying to find more information from you. You haven't really told us too much, or you probably have. You've tried to tell us some stuff, I assume. But it might be a little bit too hard for you to speak to us through this object that I have. It's not always easy. But that's why we have all these other objects and everything for you to do so. For you to speak to us and communicate with us. So I'm putting that back down there. You've answered yes, no, all kinds of things for us tonight. Can you show us that you come in here with us and oh, we'll just hang out right here. We'll just give you some time and speak to you. I'm gonna set this one over here on the window if you wanna sit on this ledge. I wish there was something we could do for you. I just wanna ask one thing and try to answer me as best you can. Are you happy? Do you not want to leave? That one went off too. Is that a yes? There we go. Okay. Thank you. Do you like the colors on all these? <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. The pyramid just went off. Yeah. Hold on. Be that right. was a green. That was a yes. That was a light pitch. Be really quiet for a minute. Wherever that little girl is, can we hear your voice one more time? Please? We would have heard the door. Yeah. Can you say goodbye to us at least? Ooh, I heard that. Ooh, I heard that. I just want to say thank you so much. Once again, thank you for everything you've done for us tonight. You've been great to us. And if you want, this is up to you. We're gonna walk downstairs towards the basement and there's a door there that we're gonna walk out of. Feel free to follow behind us so that you can make your way out of here and go to the light. Holy shit. Ooh. force you to do anything and we don't give you permission to follow us after that what we are trying to do is help guide you out of here and the rest is up to you this is your bus out of here the brightest light you can picture is right here i just felt so weird just now i literally thought steve was right there this just happened all of a sudden i think somebody just walked through just like going on right now and I swear to God somebody was I just felt a presence standing right here I thought I heard something too I mean obviously the door's creaking but I thought I heard footsteps anyways ghost gang I hope you guys enjoyed this episode this has definitely been one of the locations that's been such a big dream for all four of us 
And now it's complete. I hope you guys are ready for next week because things are about to get different. Just get ready. I'll see you next Monday. Peace.